Meteorologist Heidi Wagner. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the KMAC Weather Lab. Very nice day across the South Plains with those 70 degree temperatures. As we head into tomorrow, though, a cool down on the way. The average temperature for this time of year is 66 degrees. So if we hit 87, we're going to be 21 degrees above average tomorrow. So again, can't stress it enough. Wear the sunscreen, stay hydrated. You can see on our hail tracker that the hail potential with these storms has now died down as well, which I think all of us can say that we're very excited about. But for now, the worry for many of you in the southern South Plains is you're going to have these stagnant storms bringing not only the possibility for some flooding, but also some winds up to 45 miles per hour and some heavy downpours. And we have a big event going on tonight. Love for you to come out right now a little bit warm, and that's all because of the high pressure system sitting over the region. The good news is the dust is slowly starting to die down as well. It doesn't seem like it, but literally 30 minutes ago, we could not see Texas Tech Stadium. Today, as many of you noticed, was quite above average for this time of year. Normally, we're seeing temperatures around 53 degrees today a high of 69 so tonight temperatures will be cooling off quickly as a weak front pushes through but temperatures tomorrow still remaining above average live from the KMAC weather lab here's meteorologist Heidi Wagner good evening everyone welcome back to the KMAC weather lab very eventful weekend we've gotten a lot of rain also had a lot of severe weather so we're gonna jump right on in show you what to expect for this evening as well as what to expect for the rest of the weekend and into this upcoming week. As you can see, we do have a lot of storms still moving across the region. If you are in the western portions of the South Plains, you are re remaining dry for the most part. This green is just backscattered from the radar. The storms, though, are moving to the northeast very slowly, only at about 10 miles per hour, and they're continuing to persist. We do have a significant weather advisory out. That is for Lynn and Garza counties. And you can see that's associated with this storm right here, bringing a good bit of lightning. And because they are moving so slowly, that means you will be seeing some heavy downpours with these showers. They do have a history of bringing some heavy downpours up to an inch in some areas earlier this evening. And you can see that the other reason we have a significant weather advisory is because of the fact there is some hail potential with these storms. No reported hail as of yet, but you can see the hail core. This is our hail tracker. And when you start to see those reds and pink colors, that's when we know there's a little bit of a chance for that. So we're going to keep an eye on it for you right now. Looks like you're going to remain okay so far. Now, if we move up to the north, you can see much of the storms have started to dissipate, which means that you may see some gusty winds here and there, but for the most part, it looks like it's going to remain just rain and a good bit of lightning. So if you're heading outdoors, watch out, try and stay safe. Another thing to note with the storms that are sitting near Tahoka in Lynn and Garza counties, be prepared for some very gusty winds, 50 to 60 mile per hour winds, similar to what we saw yesterday with these storms as they start to collapse. So just keep that in mind as you're heading out this evening. Otherwise, though, you can see this is all associated with a nice long line of thunderstorms, low pressure system up to our north, and that is what's causing all these showers to pop up. The tail end is just sweeping across the state of Texas and many other states bringing these showers, and that's going to continue as we head into tomorrow as well. We do have some more rain chances is on the way. If you take a look at our future cast, you can see really accurate. We do have some showers and thunderstorms over Abilene and Childress, but we are missing a few showers in the chunk of it. So remember that we're going to see these showers stick around for a bit longer this evening through about midnight as we forecasted earlier. Then as we head into the early morning hours, they will start to die out, but models still showing a good bit more rain. You can see that here on and off by tomorrow afternoon, though, a brief break and then some more showers and thunderstorms on the way. You can see here Abilene region looking like they're going to get a decent amount of rain. Looks like the rain amounts are going to decrease a little bit, but again, still isolated chances of these showers, and that means some heavy downpours in some areas. By Monday, though, for the most part, clearing out chance for some showers just in the southern South Plains as the tail end of this frontal boundary clears out of the region. After that, we're going to see high pressure, unfortunately, take over for many of you who want to head outside. This weekend should be a very nice weekend, but we desperately need the rain. Thankfully, though, we did get a good number of rain totals. First, we're going to take a look at our live weather station, show you the good bit of rain we got today. Not a lot of weather sticks got the rain, but if you take a look at Rawls, you can see that in Rawls, we got 28 hundredths of an inch of rain today, 79 degrees, so very comfortable outside. Those storms have cleared out of Rawls. Moving over the most 
memorable one to note for tonight is Lake Allen Henry, 1.02 inches of rain within about 30, 45 minutes. So very exciting news, getting some more rain. Let's take a look at Lubbock. Lubbock was not as lucky today. We got to see a little bit of rain yesterday, but for today remaining at zero 79 degrees. And as we take a look at our rain totals for the Lubbock metro area, as well as Lubbock County, you can see we have rebounded up a little bit this weekend. You can see 10.17 inches in Lubbock, 8.42 at the airport, and then moving over Ransom at 10, Roosevelt 10.18, and Idaloo at 11.56. Rest of the county looking a little bit drier, but got about an inch across the region for many of our weather sites. Very exciting news and your seven day forecast. Meteorologist Heidi Wagner. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the KMAC Weather Lab. Almost a perfect day across the South Plains, especially compared to yesterday, hitting a high of 55 degrees right around average. And if you take a look at the radar satellite composite, you can see very clear conditions across the region. Showers and thunderstorms just clearing out of the state of Texas, moving into Louisiana and much of the eastern portion of the United States. We're excited to see a little bit of clear weather, especially since we do have some big changes on the way. First, we're going to take a look outside at our live weather stations, and you can see it is going to be a little bit chilly this evening, already dropping to 40 degrees in Olton. Winds are relatively calm today, though. We will continue to see 5 to 10 mile per hour winds. Moving over in Abernathy, 46 degrees, and winds again. Very calm at this point in time. Humidity down as well, and that's because we don't really have much cloud cover or moisture in the region. Finally, in Lubbock, 50 degrees, a little bit warmer, 24% humidity. And if you are heading out tomorrow, you're going to be seeing temperatures a little bit cooler than today, but not by much. It's going to be a very pleasant day outside. So if you want to head out there, you take a look at our area highs. You can see 50 degrees for Lubbock tomorrow, a little bit cooler in the areas to the north and to the west, but otherwise looking like a very pleasant Sunday afternoon. The only thing I really want to stress is that there is the chance for a little bit of fog in the southern counties. So if you are in these counties, please be careful while driving on the roads. We want to keep you safe. And as we head into Monday, really not much of a change. Temperatures are going to be cool during the morning hours. So don't forget those pets and plants. Bring them indoors. We don't want to have them getting too cold outside. 28 degrees is what models are showing for Monday morning. Monday afternoon, back to around 47 degrees. We're going a little bit warmer around 52, 53. But again, very pleasant conditions to start out the week. And then as we head into Tuesday, that's when we see a bigger change. And that's because we have a strong front pushing through the region. This is the newest model run, and it is showing rain showing up by Tuesday morning. You can see, though, models have a little bit of a change from what we were looking at yesterday, showing a nice bullseye of showers and thunderstorms in the northeastern portions of the South Plains as well as near Wichita Falls. So we will be keeping an eye on this, possibly bumping up those chances of precipitation for Wednesday now as well. Yesterday only showing the bulk of the rain on Tuesday. And if you want to head out tomorrow, should be a great day to head outdoors. Bundle up in the morning, but then shed all the coats off because we're getting to around 50 just like we saw today. 27 though for your 9 a.m. temperature. Winds only 5 to 10 miles per hour. And your 7-day forecast, you can see very pleasant conditions. We have 20% chance of those showers, possible thunderstorms on Tuesday. We bumped up Wednesday to 10%, and if models can continue to show the same things they're doing now, bumping it up Wednesday a little bit more.